We have an SMC hanger and a uh, carbon steel bolt placed in a nice vertical orientation like you'll never see. But what I'm going to do is to first loosen off the nut. I'm going to pound on the nut and not the end of that bolt. And so I want to force this bolt about eighth inch to a quarter inch back down into the hole. Right now it's very firm, but if I do that, you'll see the bolt is now, I can wiggle it, I can turn it. See, I can turn that bolt, and that's a good thing. Okay. So our spinner tool is this tool right here, which is just a standard coupler nut. This is a 3 8 coupler nut from a hardware store, but one side of it has been drilled to a half inch to fit this, which you can buy off of eBay or anything. It's, it's a uh, SDS adapter tool made so that you can put a standard drill chuck on there and, um, and attach it to your, your rock drill. Um, now, where did I put that set screw? Matt Reeser designed this with a little set screw that you can put on the interior here so that you can make sure it doesn't go too deep. You want this tool to bottom out before the front face of it touches the rock or else you won't be spinning the bolt. You'll be grinding this against the, the rock so, so that when I screw this on, it hits the set screw right there and I'm not touching rock so it'll be free to turn. Okay. We're gonna put our drill in rotary mode, not hammer mode. That's important. I'm going to spin this in short bursts, and I don't want to put a ton of force on it either way, but I want to push and pull. And what that does is it grinds rock dust into the, that collar. I'm going to add a little bit of water because that helps lubricate everything. Just, you know, that much water. Now. That may be enough. What's happening in there? What's happening in there is the, the sleeve of this bolt, which looks like this, is staying put while I'm spinning the bolt part of it. And there's rock dust in there, so I'm hoping to score a hard edge around that cone so that when I go to pull this, instead of these, this collar sliding, it'll catch on that you know, deep score mark I've made, mm. and then it can't come... You know, it, the whole thing comes out. If I spend too much time doing this, I'll just break the bolt because it'll it'll grind down too much metal in the middle. But so when it starts binding like that, you've you know you've made some progress. You've made the collar slip, and you've made it change its orientation. There, you may have, you know, scored it until it. it lodges, you know what I'm saying? And the hydraulic punch driver can probably pull this out now. We'll find out. So, one way to get this off is to put the drill in reverse and pull. See, it unscrews itself. This is a coupler tool. It's three quarter on one side and three eighths, 16 on the other. Um, screw that all the way down on the bolt. Add a spacer. This is a hydraulic punch driver. Let me see if I can get that in the camera view here. It is a tool donated to us by Greenlee. This is designed to punch holes in sheet metal by pulling a, a die against a cup. And instead, we're going to push against the rock to pull this now damaged bolt out. So you just turn that on. Now, I can feel, I'm only putting, you know, five pounds of force on this lever. It's out of the frame of the camera, so you can't really see that, but you can see where the rubber meets the road. And I can feel the bolt is slipping out. Can I try? Sure. So hold both sides. See? It's moving along. Mm, yeah. Yeah, not that much. 
Now there's only one inch of travel for this tool and when it gets difficult you've reached the end of that one inch and you'll have to add a spacer. And you'll know when you, it's a hard stop when you reach the end of that. Still going easy? Yeah, you yeah. try it. Oh, there we are. That's the end. So, yep. so now at the end, do this and you can see we've pulled that much of the bolt out. One inch has slipped out of the hole. That gives us room to add our one inch spacer. Oh, just, and it just ah. slides in because it's Oh yeah, I, yeah nice. I cut it, I designed it to equal the throw of the tool. Nice. And then this is a two inch spacer for when you pull that one out. Um, and then you can add a third if you need a third. Um, so, turn it so you can video the bolt coming out of the, oh. out of the spacer. True. Yeah, so there you can see the threads as they come out. Okay. Oh, it's fun too when you're up there. Like, it's coming out. Yep. Everybody see that? Oh, yeah. Sliding right out. And you can oh, see yeah, the slurry. You can see the slurry of rock paste that we uh, created when we spun it. And that is a successful bolt removal. And you can see. Let me disengage this, and we'll see the damage we did. If we look at this cone and compare it to a fresh one, you can see the deep score mark we put. We changed the geometry mm -hmm. just enough mm -hmm. so that there is a deep score that this catches on and it can't slide up that, okay? Brilliant. That's how it works.